what are some of the memorable moments you remember from the NSMQ? The victory that can never be erased from your mind. Okay, my last riddle during the quarterfinals. Okay, Putasu Mari died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the most memorable moment I have till now. Wow. Yeah, because with that riddle, I remember the night before the quiz, mm. I read it. I read that riddle on Wikipedia. So people were like, "Why? Why was he shouting?" When I read that riddle, it said like. Even now the clues. I was like, this time I read last. I told me I read it last night. It was like, read, then go for it. Mm. So that's why I screamed the answer out <laughs> because I was very sure, very very confident very, in very the answer. Sure of the answer. Yeah. I am a metal halide. Where there is a nuclear disaster, I become perhaps the most important chemical. I protect the thyroid glands. Potassium iodide. Yes. Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. This is the King of the Rat TV and as usual we bring to you your favorite NSMQ contestant live to you guys so that you see what they've been up to and everything that they are going through as well. Okay so today as you can see we have one of the superstars of the NSMQ. I'll call him a superstar. Yes. 2022 NSMQ, he was one of the stars of the competition. He's no other person than Anderson, aka Tinkuni. <laughs> Tinkuni, you're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome, you're welcome. But this is on the side though, but why are you called Tinkuni? Okay. Tinkuni came from my senior high school when I was in the first year. Oh, okay. I remember we were in class one time and these guys were giving a you no know, cocoa. And I decided to take the name Kyrie because I'm into basketball a little bit. Oh, okay. So they were like, nah, they don't give me the Kyrie. Then I remember there was this non guy in our class and he was like, where he's from? Tikuni mm. means a dry tree. Oh, okay. And the boys were like, it suits you, the big head and everything. So that's how the name Tikuni came out. Tikuni, so it's, it's a tree word? Yeah, it's a tree word. That didn't actually mean someone with a big head. Uh huh. But the boys made it someone with a big head. Yeah. Because. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Anyway, they have a song for you. No, oh, they, they made a song about it. No, no, no. Ah. no. So, <laughs> Tinkuni Anderson, one of the stars of NSMQ 22. Yeah. But, uh, Anderson, after NSMQ, how has life been? Okay. After NSMQ, life has been like, quite interesting. Okay. I met lots of people. Yeah. Oh, let's just say it's, it was interesting. And uh, are you in a stardom era? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you're on campus, people say, hey, this guy, that's Tinkuni, one of the stars of NSMQ. Yeah, yeah that one, the. Yeah. Sometimes I meet people every day. Uh -huh. I even read them out of their names. I don't remember their names sometimes. Okay. Yeah, so I meet a lot of people on campus. Yeah. About the NSMQ and stuff. Okay, sure. And are the ladies rushing you? Or are the ladies nah. moving to you? Nah, I'm not that type of guy. Hey, US. Hmm. Boys can lie. Hey, boys can lie. Boys, you guys are liars. You guys can lie. Hey, liar. Okay, okay. Mm. And then he said he's not that type of guy. Okay, that's good, cool, that's good. Cool. So, in a nutshell, who is Anderson? Okay. So obviously, I'm, I'm Anderson. I went to... So, your full name? I'm Kyobna Anderson Manfo. Okay. I went to Bokuwari School, completed 2023. Right now, I'm in Kenway, reading medicine. I'm from a family of five, my parents, another sibling, and a younger sister. Yeah, that, in a nutshell, I think that's Anderson. So, working. Okay. And anything about your parents that you want to... Talk about yeah, my, your profession and maybe anything. My dad is a pastor okay. of the Family Chapel International mm -hmm. at Carter Soon's you. My mom is a trader. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so Alex, Alex too, his dad is a pastor. Oh yeah, I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So if you've not seen Alex's video, I interviewed Alex. He was a 22 uh Wasi overall best student for St. James Seminary Institute. You can find this on the channel. So in a home that your dad is a Pastor, how is the home treatment like in terms of morals? Okay, my dad is, I will not say he's quite strict, but he's a little bit strict. Mm. He's also jovial sometimes. Okay. Yeah, so in our house, or in my home, things are quite cool. Then, yeah, if you are obedient, he will love you. Mm. But if, if you go wayward, nah, you get into trouble. <laughs> yeah. Give it to you. <laughs> okay, that's nice. What's yeah. with your mom? 
my mom my mom is really friendly for my mom that she's really friendly she's really cool yeah she's okay with everything okay and your siblings how do you relate with you in the house okay me and my big brother we are really cool we do everything like literally everything together and for my sister yeah she's much closer to me than my brother oh, okay because I'm, I'm in between them so i'm a little bit closer to my sister than my brother, brother. that's good that's good that's good so now to oas opokuai hmm. opokuai uses this nama system B, what, 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 what? <laughs> B, what, what, what? Shout out to Amos. Uh, why do you use the number system in your school? I don't know why people keep on teasing us about number system that we are cars and all vehicles. Number system is like quite the best system ever established in Ghana with mm. regards to secondary schools. Okay. The number system is quite simple for educational students. Mm. Like when you come to Pokwari, for instance, the last number, the last digits mm. of our numbers will help you know the house that we are in. For okay. instance, I was BY799. Okay. That means if you come to our school, you find me in Philip House. Oh, okay. So our, okay. our number system was one of the best systems ever created in secondary schools. Okay. Yeah. So if somebody comes there and mentions your name, the person will not find you. Nah, nah. If you come and you mention our name, oh, he's Kelvin, he's Anderson, nah, he won't, he won't find us. Wow. Yeah, let's <laughs> maybe you know the person's number. That one's it's very easy for us to find him. Okay, so are you the only school that executes this type of number system? Okay. Our alliance school that's in Louis, they have it, but it's not all that established. Okay. Uh -huh. It's somehow it's not all that there, but it's there. Let me just like that. Okay. Hey, you talk about Alliance School in St. Louis. Yeah. I don't know also the alliance for Prempe. That's what they claim, but Something that's for us is always for us. <laughs> <laughs> Prep boys uh, must be filled with rage <laughs> after watching this video. But yeah, uh, OAS have taken their stand for St. Louis. What's the future dream like and what program are you pursuing in the university and what university are you in? My future dream is being an influential person in Ghana, having an impact mostly in the kids of Ghanaians. Okay. Yeah. And right now I'm pursuing medicine mm -hmm. and I'm in KNC right now. Okay. Yeah. That's good. So, do you see tech campus or do you see university life being different a little bit from the senior high school mm. lifestyle? I don't like. I don't like. University is really stressful. <laughs> it's really right stressful. now. It's really stressful compared to secondary school. Okay. <laughs> In your secondary school, you had time. You had time to do your stuff, like to learn ahead and stuff. My university, it's not like that. Okay. It's more of preparation with other students. As compared to a secondary school, secondary school, I second to that. you could work alone, but yes. you may see it doesn't work that way. No, you no. have to work like this. Here, you meet a lot of brilliant people. Yeah, yeah. those in secondary school listen to this. You may think you are brilliant, but when you come to university, you meet people way more smarter than you. He has said it all. <laughs> this thing happened to me in level 100 when I was in UCC. It happened to me in level 100. When I came in, I went into my own corner. Mm. Math, there's this course called Math 101 in UCC. Sure, if you if you <laughs> fool, you get D E, yeah. and we were in our corner, not knowing we should have liaised with other people who, who had access to past questions and other stuff that could have helped okay. us group studies. So university group studies, as he said, really is the uh, factor for you to really do well. So as Anderson said, he's right on point to that. So this is a very tricky question we always ask our contestants when they come on the channel. Yes, did any NSMQ lady catch your eye? And if yes, which school was she representing? There was no school. Okay, with the Pokwari, when we get to Brunei, that's when we have Brunei, right? Preparing for the quiz. We won't allow you to go out. Okay. You'll be kept indoors. We saw some females, but they must win the quiz. We didn't come to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, okay, I saw some females, but honestly, my mind wasn't there. Hey, Aisha. I'm sure, really sure. <laughs> I really wanted to win the quiz that bad, so I wasn't paying attention to them. That's so, how was your time in uh, Opokuari? What was How was your life there? Which science class were you in? And then which house were you in? My life in Opokwari was quite simple. Yeah. You can ask the people in Opokwari. I wasn't I won't say I was always in my books in school. Yeah. Most of the time I was in my books. But when it comes to being with the boys, I was always with the boys. Yeah. Okay, I was in science three of the twenty three year group. Okay. And the house. Yes. I was in we were actually I wasn't actually in one house. Mm -hmm. I remember I was a dissident. Yeah. Really? I was a dissident. And through the intervention of my parents and the NSMQ, okay. I came to St. Andrew's house. And then we, we were relocated to, I think St. John. Mm -hmm. Then I went to St. Joseph's okay. and came back 
to St. Matthew. Okay. And I moved again <laughs> to St. Luke. Wow. Yeah. So, the, uh, Tinkuni's own is like a shifting cultivation. <laughs> Moving. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't actually at one house. Okay. Yeah, I was sleeping at different houses. Okay, sure. So, uh, SS Lifestyle, do you eat some of the spag and shit and things? Yeah. What are some of the memorable moments you remember from us? Most of the memorable moments were with my best friend, Sam Motofo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We spent most of our lifetime together studying, cooking, oh, not cooking, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Eating, making food, buying food, okay. yeah, the struggle in secondary school. Yeah. Mm, so, what are some of the struggles? Okay, first of all, in Pokhari, after buying food on Saturdays and Sundays was quite a problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, and sometimes to growing bricks, I remember we were not allowed to buy water or buy anything like that. Mm -hmm. So it was also quite a problem. I think yeah. apart from that, it was not seen a struggle. I think that was the struggle I was facing personally in the secondary school. Okay, so I heard that OAS has a special block for NSMQ students. Mm. Tell us about how true is that and tell us about that. How does that thing operate? It's not actually a special block. Okay. It's a special room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had he news about it that it was the first um, laboratory created for NSMQ okay. throughout Ghana. Yeah, it was set up by the old boys to prepare the people going for NSMQ. So when you come to our room, we have books, okay, materials, laptops that equips wow. us to prepare for the NSMQ. Okay. That's good. That's good. And you see, any NSMQ team that has their old boys really uh, participating and contributing to their school, mm -hmm. they really do well. And I, I like I like what the OAS old students are doing. So if some of the other small schools are able to also do that, they can also match up with the OAS, their presets and yeah. the August schools. <laughs> okay, so Tinkuni, we have written your name in the history books of the NSMQ. Yes, no doubt about that. You are the super sub. We have written your names amongst the Nathaniels. Nathaniel, super sub for uh, Presec and also the super sub for August school, new team. You are part of those squad. How do you feel about that? I deem it as a great personal achievement to be given that title as one of the greatest sub in the NSMQ. Yeah, personally, I was happy when I, even though I didn't win, I, my name was written into, into those books. Okay. And I'm really happy I've gotten that personal achievement. That's good. That's good. What was your secret uh, that made you so special? And that made, what, what strategy were you using? Was it that when you sat behind, the contest you analyze it in a certain way that's no one did i remember before preparing for the piece when we were doing trials and stuff yeah i used to sometimes i used to sit down like sometimes in the evenings i was normally learning in the evenings like from 12 to the next morning i used to sit down sometimes like three hours i just watch a contest of newton okay nathaniel wow and evans i used to watch their contest i was just playing it playing it, playing it, like in this, trying to analyze how these boys are able to get these questions right <laughs> And sometimes I was shocked because sometimes I would solve them personally and get them wrong. And I'll sit down, read, read, read what they read, read the materials that they were mm. reading. And I'll be like, oh, okay, so this is how we do it. This is what this is what we do. When I get stuck here, this is what I'm going to do. Okay. So yeah, I think that's how I always pull through the three of us in the middle rounds. Wow. Coming to the semis, in the nationals, mm -hmm. how did you feel when you started losing points? You came out and then with all the expectations in the room in the semi-final. But when you were coming on, the chance and all that, what was the emotion like after you were just losing the points? Okay. When I was just on that stage, yeah. honestly, I blacked out after okay. getting those four questions wrong. Okay. I, was, I was disappointed in myself because I didn't expect for that to happen. And I took a discourse as, a, as an easy win because I was reading them in trials and stuff. So I took it that, oh, semi final is a boundary to finals. Mm -hmm. I can easily cross it. Mm -hmm. By life, you have to you have to like prepare for everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I felt disappointed on that stage. That disappointing the whole fraternity, all my people were looking up to me and stuff. Yeah. But nonetheless, you are still our boy. <laughs> <laughs> nonetheless, you still did well because this thing could have happened to anyone. Yeah. Yes, this thing could have happened to anyone. So, Charlie, shake up. <laughs> you are still the star boy. Okay, <laughs> Give us four NSMQ greats. Per your opinion, your favorite <laughs> four NSMQ contestants. Hey. Per your opinion, any student that comes gives their their their, their opinion. No, no one will attack you. It's your opinion, and no one else's opinion. So, who are your four greatest NSMQ students? Okay, can I go for boys and for girls? Any one. Like it's for you. Boys, four. Four boys. Oh, okay. Girls. Let's go. Okay. 
Okay, I think the, the girls won't sum up to four. But for the boys, I can speak of Deborah. Okay. Deborah was someone that I really look up to when it comes to NSMQ. Mm -hmm. And I can speak of uh, Eden. Eden. Evans. Okay, Evans. And I'll give the last person to Newton. Okay. Because yeah. you also looked up to him too, yeah. in a way. Yeah. And what of the ladies? For ladies, I can't go with that many, Samantha. Yeah. And who else? From Wesley Girls. Yeah. And there was this girl, I don't I remember her name, but she was from Ghana National. Yeah. She met Prisek in 2019. I remember the 2019 contest, but I, we'll, we'll find a clip and then a name and then put on yeah, it. Yeah. She was very good. She, yeah. She was very, very good. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, who else? Benedicta. Yes, Benedicta. Benedicta. Yeah. And Dion. Yeah, for females, Dion too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. Yeah. So you know, put Francisca in your list. Francisca. Let me see. Francisca was good. She was good. Yeah, she was very, very good. She was very, very good. Yeah. Especially, I remember I was watching her contest and how she was able to. I remember there was a question on malaria. Okay. Yeah, and how she was able to put forth her answer. Yeah, I was very impressed. I was very, very impressed. <laughs> this one is coming from Lionel. Lionel. Yes. <laughs> Lionel sent me a message that he thought the championships wouldn't have taken place. So he was saying that they needed a revenge for the original championships. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to tell Lionel? He said this year, Prempe has to dominate Ashanti region. What do, you, what, what do you have to say to him? I won't talk much. There's a saying that pattern on web are right. So we won't talk much. Yeah, I, I've heard of their boy. I heard they are doing really good. Mm. But you know, Poco, mm. yeah, whatever you do, always better than you. So, yeah, I've heard, I've heard you want, they wanted to beat us in the red nows and stuff. But red nows, I didn't partake in the red nows. Okay. But my boys were very good. Mm. Like Newton, I think it was Newton, Romeo and Gaga. Mm. It's Romeo and Gaga, yeah. They were very good. So I think, yeah, Pokuma say, when it comes to any championship, you can't beat to us. Okay. Yeah. So, what are some of the memorable moments you remember from the NSMQ? The victory that can never be erased from your mind. Okay, my last riddle during the quarterfinals. Okay, Putasuma died. I am a metal halide. Where there is a nuclear disaster, I become perhaps the most important chemical. I protect the thyroid glands. Potassium iodide. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was the most memorable moment I have to now. Wow. Yeah, because with that riddle, I remember the night before the quiz, mm. I read it. I read that riddle on Wikipedia. So people were like, why, why was he shouting? When I read that riddle, he said, like, giving out the clues. I was like, this time I read it, I told me I read it last night. It was like, read, then go for it. Mm. So that's why I screamed the answer out. Because <laughs> I was very sure. Very, very confident very, in the answer. Very, very sure of the answer. Yeah. <laughs> have, you always, have you always wanted to be in the NSMQ since child? No, no, no. So at what stage did the interest come into play? The interest came into play when I was in SHS1. Okay. Okay. As a child, like during my teens, I remember my brother used to watch the NSMQ a lot. I mean, personally, I didn't find interest in it because mm. I couldn't answer the questions. I didn't know what they were doing. Okay. Why? I saw them doing were ringing, the ringing of bells. Yes, I didn't know what they were doing. Okay. So when I got to the SHS, my best friend, Samuel Tufo, mm. yeah, he was, he wanted to partake in the quiz. Okay. Like, he was doing shots for his school when he was in the junior high school. Mm. So he was telling me more about the quiz and somehow I got intertwined with the people, people in the NSMQ team when I was in Form 1. Okay. So yeah, they made me read books. They made me learn my syllables. So somehow, I wanted to prove something. Okay. Set a difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember I had this saying that I will set a difference. Mm -hmm. If I don't win, I will set a difference. I told my boys. My, my boys were like, to who need yeah, he will set a difference. He will set a difference. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I wanted to set a difference for the school. I was like, people has won for 20 years. What's happening? I'm like, I will set the difference. Mm -hmm. So tell us, how is selection of NSMQ students done in OAS? Is it that they do it from Form 1? How, how is the selection and examination? How is it done? It depends on the strength of the current year. Mm. Okay. So they don't have a straightforward system for selecting people for NSMQ. Yeah, I watched Alfred soon, and Alfred was like, they picked those from the best classes. Mm. Like, when you write at the end of semester. Yeah, but Alfred, not like that. Alfred is a school. They don't, like, they believe 
we have a belief that we have people for NSMQ, okay. we have people for studies. Okay. Yeah, so who quite not like that? So you can they invite you guys, you guys come and write an exam. Okay. That one is open to all students. Write an exam. After that, they do series of contests for those people who were who got in, mm. who was listed for the for the exams. Okay. Mm-hmm. So when they are done, after the contest, you guys do series of contests, series of contests. So they get their final best. Yeah. Okay. okay. Still on the semi-finals. Were you guys shocked losing to Adizado College? Since Adizado College had a bad run coming to the semi-finals. I won't, I won't speak of that. But yeah, we were shocked. We were shocked they won to us. Because we didn't expect it. We didn't expect Adi's school to win. Like, I'm not going against anyone. Yo, no, no. But we didn't expect them to win against us. We, we knew we, we would have won the quiz. I remember. Of all the three boys, none of us bought forms. So we bought, we bought our form even after the quiz because we were planning to win the quiz. <laughs> we were just planning to Full win the focus. quiz. Yeah. So when they went to us, some, I thought it was a dream. Honestly, mm. I thought, nah, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. At least we can't win to us. Hmm. So yeah, we didn't expect it. No. How well did you work with Romeo and Andrews towards the quiz? Okay. If in, in Greece, I'll give us an A. An A+. Plus. Okay. Yeah. There was unity between me and my guys. I remember in the quiz room i used to sit close to andrews so we're always sharing information even ourselves questions trying to test our knowledge on everything okay. yeah and romeo i don't say romeo likes working alone but yeah he's that type of guy yeah but sometimes he also comes to us we sit together yeah we give ourselves questions we're asking ourselves questions in the room mm-hmm. we're getting them correct getting them wrong and he explains how why we got them wrong okay. so yeah the, the unity between me and my guys were like very tight correct correct one personality you look up to and why I look up to my big brother, Yalvin. Yalvin away from home. Okay. Yeah, he has been like my source of motivation for a very long time. From yeah, basically from my childhood, he has always been with me, always advising me, trying to help me take the right steps in life. Yeah. Okay. That's good. What 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 profession? He's now he's reading pharmacy. Oh okay. Yeah, he's Which reading school? Oh okay. Yeah. He's reading <laughs> pharmacy. Ah, then you are here with him. Then that one, you've been going for money and things for. We barely meet. He's quite busy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm quite busy. So we don't meet that often. Did you make some friends uh, from the competition aside OAS? Did you make some friends from the other schools? From the other schools, I made a couple of friends. Some so, of them are in my class. Yeah, I'm cool with Alex. Okay. A girl by the name Rabi, Erim, friends from other school. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think in yeah, Bernard. Yeah, I made a couple of friends. Okay. So, what advice would you give to anyone who is aspiring, a- any student who is aspiring to also participate in the National Science and Math Quiz? I mean, what advice would you give to that student? Okay, the National Science and Math Quiz is one of the of the most challenging quizzes in Ghana right now. So, if you want to stand for your school, you are competing against all the people in your school mm. to be part of the best three in the school to be selected for the NSMQ. So work very hard and don't forget God. Yeah, the books are essential, but don't forget God. Wow. The God factor is really important. The way you are saying there, I can see you're a staunch Christian. <laughs> are you, do you do something in church or something? Okay, in church, I'm part of the media team. Yeah. I'm wow. part of the media team wow. in the church. Yeah. So you do projection and all those things? Yeah, projection, making up light for the church. Yeah. Anderson, uh, hey, because this, this, this gift is, is really cool. I mean, graphic designing. It's a really cool gift to have, Kura. So, Charlie, kudos. Okay, so do you have any teachers in OAS and your GSS you like to thank and say a thank you to? Yeah. When it comes to SHS, I can speak for Sir Richard, Sir Wahab, uh, Sir Astatine. <laughs> Sir why is he called Astatine? Yeah, he came with that name. I, I don't know why. <laughs> but he came with that name. Sir <laughs> Darkon. Okay. Sir Michael, High Priest. Yeah, and Sir Stephen. Okay. Yeah. And what of Jesus? You and Jesus, Sir Se Derek, and Sir Razak. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, any friends you would like to give shout out to your SHS and also in the university right now? Yeah, quite a lot. But yeah, Justice, Lucas, from, Samuel from the um, university. Okay. Yeah, they've been with me from the SHS. Oh, nice. Yeah, Lucas, Justice, Samuel, Derek, Lambert, PY. Eben, 
Yeah, it's quite a lot of normal people. And your roommate? Who's your roommate? They are my roommate. Hey! <laughs> yeah. But you see, that, that's yeah. how friends are. From SS to the university. To university. Wow. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Then you people are close. Yeah, we are really, really close. Do you play games together? Yeah, sometimes we meet and play um, Call of Duty together. Yeah, for, yeah sometimes FIFA. Yeah. FIFA? Are you good in FIFA? No, they always will. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I sit down with this guy for PS, don't say I'll kill you. <laughs> so we've gotten to the fun part of our uh, interviews with our NSMQ stars. And this is the trivia question segment. And with this, we ask them what they do aside from the National Science and Mars quiz. So, Tinkuni, hmm. what's your favorite team? Favorite Football team. Football team. Okay. I'll go for PSG. You go for? Is it I don't have? Or I, I don't. I'm not into sports that much because as a child I used to, I was asthmatic. Oh okay. Yeah, so I wasn't actually into sports, but I don't like losing. So no, no PSG Man City. <laughs> <laughs> because they won the Champions League. Yeah, they won the Champions League. So yeah, I'm all for Man City. You know this how my United Chelsea <laughs> fan base were all started. You know who, who doesn't like a winning side? Yeah, so. I so did you win the Champions League finals? Yesterday I was quite busy. I went to church. Oh okay. So, yeah, so I was. I want to watch it. Yeah, okay. But you know City won, right? Yeah, I want to City won. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your hobby? What do you like doing? I, I like playing basketball. Yeah. Wow. Basketball. So, any favorite uh, basketball player? Kyrie Ivan. Yeah, Kyrie Ivan. And what of Steph Curry? Steph Curry is good, but I've always been a fan of Kyrie Ivan since childhood. So, yeah. Okay. And you know, with this time, we didn't have this Lakers and Cavaliers fi finale. Yeah. Rather, we had what Heat and uh, Denver. Did <laughs> you yeah. didn't follow the playoffs? No, I, I, I don't actually watch the, the NBA as I used to watch. Okay. Mm. Okay, so favorite player, Messi or Ronaldo? As I said, I don't like losing. So, Messi. <laughs> What's I saying? <gasps> Uh, I uh, Ronaldo stands. Let me know in the comment section. Um, in the is he trying to tell us that Ronaldo <laughs> Ronaldo loses? In the World Cup, who won? We are talking about the world. Messi won. So yeah, I'll go for Messi. So Messi has competed football. Mm, yeah. But you see, uh, Messi was offered what what hundred billion or whatever whatever to Saudi Arabia. He rejected it. Do you think it's because of C Ronaldo? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He has no personal I don't think he has any personal arguments or personal grudge against Ronaldo. He just is he just doing his thing. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite food? My favorite food. Fufu with wearing coin. If you had said something else, I would have said he's not a Kumasi guy. Yeah, fufu wearing coin is my favorite food. Wow, wow. And what of what of Akranti? Have you taken have you taken Akranti before? Nah. You have me to try it. <laughs> <laughs> but I had Akranti, when you take it, it's the, the the scent will be on your hands like for five days. I've been to study yet, so I don't know what okay. that. So, artificial intelligence or human for productivity? Okay. I find out what's leading the human race with artificial intelligence. Yeah. And right now, I heard it started like five years ago, or maybe a couple of Yeah, a couple seven, of years ago. But not that much. So, mm. imagine artificial intelligence in the next 20, 30 years. It's going to be big. It's going to help us in a lot of ways. Mm. Right now, students are using artificial intelligence to solve their works for them. A lot of stuff like he's doing marvelous stuff that we humans didn't even think of. Wow. Yeah. Do you have examples of this AI AI tools? Okay. Personally, in my class, we use pool. Yeah, I remember we were doing some genetic assignments mm. and it was a lot. It was supposed to do I think four hundred questions in two hours. MCQs. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you be going some but you can't yeah, we were doing most of some of them on our own. Okay. But sometimes you get tired, your brain will get tired. Four hundred questions mm. in two hours. So the time you make the pool do it for you. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's good. That's good. So in all, in all, in all, what would we say has contributed to the success of Tinkuni? Okay. My parents okay. and God. Yeah. The God factor is really important. Yeah. My parents, God, the people around me, yeah. But my roommate, those I came from SHS with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they used to, I remember they used to push me very hard. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. good. That's good. Yeah. So, all too soon, we've come to the end of our interview with our star boy, Tinkuni. So, as he said, the God factor, his parents, and the people around him are the people that contributed to his success. If you want to see more of these videos, just hit the subscribe button, the like button, and also share for others who also enjoy this video. We will see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>
Kukwiso kwa unavyo nipatia 